Now, one of my philosophies is as much as possible for you to just manage one inbox at a time. And when you only have to manage one inbox at a time, it makes your life a whole lot easier. Now, many businesses and business owners have different brands, different companies maybe that you're managing. If possible, I would recommend having all of your work email coming into one place. If you're a founder running a business, it makes it easier to delegate for someone else to help manage your inbox. But also what it does is it gives you the opportunity to rather than flicking between different places, just manage everything on the go from, from one spot. Now, one of the great features of Google is they actually allow you to have multiple email addresses set up inside your Google account. Okay, so inside our Gmail, we actually have the option to configure to send from multiple email addresses. We do this from inside our Google account, and it's a matter of going into our settings and defining multiple email accounts there. Now, if you wanna add a secondary domain, that's a bit more of an intensive process because you've gotta change things like DNS records. So we're not gonna go through that right now. But what I will show you is how to configure an additional email address if you'd like to send and receive from additional email address. Now, when we have a secondary email address, let's say for example, right now, you might have it set up in a separate domain or a separate mailbox, or maybe even a separate Google account altogether, because some businesses will have multiple Google accounts. You may choose to actually take a, you know, a second bucket of email, I call it, uh, I call them buckets of emails, and actually forward it into your primary business. And so if you have, if you have multiple buckets of email, with your multiple buckets of email, I would recommend you you actually just choose. I would recommend you actually just choose to work with one. Now I mentioned with the mobile apps, just having one mailbox. What you can actually do is have this.com.au bucket of email, even if it's a completely separate Google account, forward into your main bucket of email or your main account, and you can also send from that account as well. That is how you see all of the email kind of coming into one place, and that's my recommendation. So you can see here, inside here in my email, I've got one, two, three, four different email accounts, and I'm able to send and receive from each one of those. So how do we set that up? And if you'd like to walk through this with me, you are welcome to. So you actually go into your Gmail settings and then see all settings, and then it's under accounts. And then here we can choose send mail as. So you can see here we've got options to send mail as. The other little groovy feature, and this is a newer feature, is that you can actually, when replying to a message, if you see here, you can reply from the same address to which the message was sent. Cool, so the other option that we have, which is really clever in here, is multiple signatures. So this is also something fairly new, and Google will actually allow you to configure multiple signatures. So we've got my, we've got my, my signature here, and I might call that IT Genius. But let's say I've got a side project, I might create a second signature and call it side project. So if that's something you'd like to go ahead and do now, drop my number in there. Oops, helps to spell my name right. I've got these two options here um, that will let me rename it. I can also set a default for my different email addresses, which is super handy. Okay, so it's not going to show you the actual drop down, but that's okay when I select a new one. So let's say I select my hello at itgenius.com, I can actually choose if I wish my side project signature. So anytime I write a reply from that email address, it's going to select a different signature. Or I can even say no signature if I want. Super handy feature. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And if you need more help with your Google Workspace account, there's four ways that we can help. Number one, join our free community group where others in the community help support each other with the Google Workspace accounts. And I'm in there from time to time answering questions as well. Number two, take advantage of our free transfer in offer to get a bunch of additional value for your Workspace account just for transferring your billing over to IT Genius. Number three, you can take advantage of a free consultation if you qualify or an IT systems check and audit for everything technology in your business. And number four, if you need help right now, you can either join our concierge program or book a one-time fix-it service to get support from our professional support team for everything Workspace and the Google ecosystem. See you in the next one.